Hello guys, it's Mike Padua and we are back again to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, June 15 to 17, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Aboitis Power, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat for today, Thursday, until tomorrow, Friday. We still have a uh, weaker Habagat, or the uh, southwesterly surface wind flow. Just been uh, downgraded from the strong southwest monsoon. It's uh, still being enhanced by a uh, weakening uh, frontal system as it races towards the northeast across the sea south of Japan. And we uh, expect more thunderstorms to occur in the afternoon or evening, particularly over Ilocos region, Cordillera region, and also some portions of Cacayan Valley, Sambales, and the uh, Clayan Island group. Now here over Metro Manila, Central Luzon, Bicol region, Calabarzon, mm, Mimaropa, Visayas, Mindanao, and Sulu Archipelago, we have lots of thunderstorms generated by this uh, monsoon trough. So these are winds blowing from the northeast and converging with uh, winds also from the southwest. That's why it's known as monsoon trough. Pagasa mentions this as the uh, intertropical convergence zone. Okay. Uh, but in our graph set, the IDCJ is somewhere here. We are technically uh, uh, focused on the prevailing winds of the converging of these uh, wind systems. So when we have northeasterly and southeasterly winds converging based on textbook, it's known as IDCJ. But when we are now having some uh, convergence from the northeast and southwest, it's now known as monsoon trough. That's why we are different compared to other agencies. And uh, lots of thunderstorms will prevail across uh, these areas, of the, uh, I mean this line, particularly during the afternoon or evening. No tropical cyclone or LPA developing as of this time, but in the next couple of days, we are observing this part of the Western Pacific over Micronesia or Caroline Islands for possible development of a low pressure area, which only one model uh, suggests and uh, we're going to show to you in a while about that uh, potential LPA. So here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin tropical cyclone page using the satellite feed from the Himawara 8 of Japan. And you can clearly see here the uh, southwesterly wind flows continues to generate some thunderstorms across northern Luzon and the surface, uh, I mean the monsoon trough over uh, uh, most parts of the country. And here we have the intertropical convergence zone to the south of Guam out to the Marshall Islands. If we take a look at the zoom in southern animation beginning around uh, 2 p.m. up to 7 o'clock this evening, you can clearly see here the uh, developing massive uh, severe thunderstorms all throughout the country. But in the after, but later this ev but so far as the evening progresses, these thunderstorms are starting to dissipate except for uh, the area of Palawan and western Visayas. And uh, this is also a part of the monsoon trough, this cloudiness, not yet an LPA. Okay, so if we take a look now at the uh, wind and pressure forecast from the uh, European model, by tomorrow afternoon, we expect uh, the uh, southwesterly winds to continue to dissipate and it will turn into southerly winds over the West Philippine Sea. Calm to variable winds will now uh, resume across the Philippine Islands with some southeasterly to southerly winds along the eastern coastal waters of Luzon and Visayas. And... Uh, we expect some thunderstorms to again uh, build up during the afternoon or evening. And uh, Saturday afternoon, again, calm to variable winds will be expected across Mimaropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, and Mindanao, while southeasterly to uh, southerly winds will be expected across the uh, coastal waters of Luzon. And uh, 
if we uh, move into Sunday afternoon, more calm to variable winds will be expected and it's now extending across the Bicol region and southern Luzon and also the central portions of uh, northern and central Luzon as well. While uh, southerly to southwesterly winds will resume to affect the uh, Batanes and Babuyan group of islands and the coastal waters of western and eastern Luzon. So we have here a frontal system that's a low pressure, uh, likely a subtropical low, not a tropical cyclone or a low pressure area. Okay, so that's the uh, three day forecast from the European model. Now, if we, um, if we focus on the American model, this is now the LPA that uh, I'm going to show to you. Let's begin on Tuesday, June 20, and there you go. The LPA is becoming an active low pressure system. June 21, it could become a tropical depression. June 22, it will start to move towards the northwest, east of summer, within the Philippine Air Responsibility, and could become a tropical storm. Friday, June 23, it could become a severe tropical storm to the east of Bicol region. It's uh, far away, okay, not uh, directly affecting our region. And Saturday, June 24, it could become a typhoon as it moves towards northern Luzon. So that's the forecast of the American model, okay? And if we uh, take a look at the uh, ICON model, that's the uh, German model, it also shows a low pressure system here on Monday, but only up until Monday, okay? Now let's take a look at the uh, European model because this also gauges the uh, formation of that American model uh, LPA or tropical cyclone that they are uh, predicting. Now uh, on the European model, uh, there's nothing. This is uh, June 20, Wednesday, June 21, Thursday, June 22. There's a shallow, possible shallow LPA here to the southwest of Guam. June 23, nothing, just a uh, near equatorial trough. And on Saturday, June 24, it remains as a near equatorial trough. So there's no LPA if uh, compared to the American model, which is a typhoon. So don't be uh, afraid, uh, don't worry, because uh, if there's only one model forecasting it, definitely it won't push through. So uh, we will uh, observe this for the next uh, couple of days if the European model uh, shows this LPA in the coming uh, forecast runs, so it means this uh, tropical cyclone may come through. So it's st still uh, not uh, expected, okay? So relax and let's uh, hope and pray that the uh, tropical cyclone that is uh, being predicted by the American model will disappear in the next couple of runs, particularly this coming uh, weekend, okay? We will keep you updated. I'm going to uh, Keep an eye on this uh, model and also the uh, different uh, models that forecasting uh, uh, that forecast uh, tropical cyclones across our basin. Now the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Saturday. It's all the same. We expect good weather, sunny in the morning or partly sunny in the morning to cloudy skies at noon and in the afternoon or evening we expect this uh, usual rain showers and th severe thunderstorms. So watch out for lightning strikes, possible uh, flooding or landslides when we have a uh, heavy downpour or downburst generated by severe thunderstorms. Downburst are very strong winds generated by these uh, thunderstorms with heavy rainfall. Okay, if you are away from a thunderstorms, you can clearly see from afar, the curtain of rain falling down from these uh, thunderstorm clouds. So this is an example of a downburst uh, within a thunderstorm, courtesy of uh, Wikipedia. And uh, as you can see, these are uh, heavy rainfall 
uh, being released by a uh, massive thunderstorm. So the winds is blowing this way, okay, and that way, and uh, that's usually the uh, release of the uh, energy from a thunderstorms via heavy rainfall, and the winds will come down and go in different uh, directions, all directions. So whenever you are within that townburst, you expect winds of 30 to 60 kilometers per hour. Sometimes it reaches around 80 to 90 kph. Depends on how intense or severe a thunderstorm is. So watch out for those uh, kind of uh, downburst. And uh, we have uh, seen a video from uh, uh, Tarlac, somewhere in central Luzon, that shows a downburst with strong winds. A gustiness of up to 60 or 70 kph so this is typical when we have severe thunderstorms in our tropical uh, country the Philippines okay so it's very common uh, in our region okay so that's the uh, explanation about downbursts so before we leave you here's the latest global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of the NOAA and uh, their models are usually uh, comes from their model their models their model comes from the american or the gfs and uh, this is valid for the next two to three weeks so the probability here is not yet high so it changes so for week two valid june 21st to june 27 so this is now the one that the american model of forecasting a possible uh, development of the tropical cyclone in the vicinity of Guam to the east of the Philippine Islands. That's around uh, uh, 20 to 60 percent probability. But we are still waiting for the signal of the European model. If it uh, appears, then this uh, tropical cyclone formation will push through. Let's hope and pray it won't affect any parts of the country. Now, weekly valid June 28 to July 4. It looks like the Philippine uh, Islands will become normal, normal climate with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the in the afternoon or evening. So uh, it's uh, the snow uh, above average rainfall during this uh, third week. So it will still change. We will uh, let you know in the coming weeks. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Thursday. Uh, for this uh, 15th of June, Thursday, and we will return this coming weekend to give you more updates on the weather. This is Mike Padua saying good night to all. Have a great day. Stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel.